How's it going, Well 2 family? Once again, here with Rosendo Rodriguez at South Coast Welling Academy, Houston, Texas. So for today's video, we have a very special guest. He is from Oregon. His name is Merle Swaggart. All right, so he's gonna show us how to do a 3G open root stick on plate, so stand by. What up, Well2 family? My name is Merle Swaggart. I'm originally from Oregon. I came down from Arizona to make a video with the Well2 family. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to do a 3G stick on plate, 6010 and rotten hot, 7018 filling cap. All right, so here we got a half inch plate. Uh, what I'm going to do first is grind the mill scale off right here on both sides of the plate. You only have to go about half an inch outside of the bevel. Make sure that you're going to have to clean the face of that bevel. And now I'm going to put my 332 landing and 332 gap. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got this, we got this metal all prepped up. You can see we got the 332 landing on there. I beat the flux off of a 7018 rod. That's what I'm going to use for my measurement. All right, you guys, so what we're going to do to space this out for our 332 gap is bend this rod like so and uh, push the two pieces of metal together. And then uh, we got a nice 332 gap just like that. Let's tack it up. All right, you guys, so I got this set up here with the 332 gap. I'm using a 6010 rod, running it at 75 amps. I'm going to tack up this corner. All right, so before I tack up this other side, I'm going to make sure I check for high-low. Just simply run your finger across it. Uh, it feels flush all the way around, so I'm going to leave one end in and push with my other hand against the pipe so that, it'll, so that it's going to close on me, and uh, I'm going to tack this up. All right, you guys, before we set this up, just one last double check for high and low, running my finger across it. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and grind down these tacks before anything to make them flat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got it tacked up here. Before I start anything, I'm gonna feather that tack right there uh, just so I can burn through and get penetration. I'm gonna be running a 6010 root on 75 amps, plus or minus. The technique I'm going to be doing is a whip and pause uh, motion. I'm going to be going in and I'm going to be going out, touching the puddle. And uh, that's, that's all we got for you today. All right, y'all, we're about to start this root pass. I'm running my amperage at 75, 6010. Um, I'm going to start by heating up the tack, then going in and out, making sure I touch the puddle and uh, stay, stay in that keyhole so it fills through. Here we go. All right, making sure I'm touching both sides of the walls, going in and out, and really pushing when I'm going down. Going in and out. All right, so make sure you heat up your metal before you get to that keyhole so it melts through, just like that. Make sure you're coming in and out of that puddle. Don't favor one side. All right, y'all, now that we got that root pass done, uh, we're gonna make sure and grind out down all the high points on it for our, uh, for our hot pass, just so it's all nice and flat for us and easier to run. Got that root pass grinded down, it's all flat. For a hot pass, the uh, technique I'm gonna be using is an up, down, side to side motion. So it's gonna be up, down, side to side. I'm gonna be running it at 90 amps, um, keeping, my, keeping my rod angle at 10 to 15 degrees, going up. Here we go, I'm going up and down, left to right, up and down, left to right, up, down, left to right. You can go right to left, it doesn't matter, just as long as you touch both walls.
Make sure you don't go too high every single time that you go out of the puddle. Just try and stay your best stay in that puddle. Make sure you're touching both walls. Make sure you keep that rod angle about 10, 15 degrees. Staying in that puddle. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna tie in right here. I'm about three quarters of the way up. Uh, I'm gonna stop about it with an inch to go uh, so you guys can see the different levels to my weld. Don't worry about it if your tying isn't the best, if there's a little bit of, uh, of overfill because you can always grind it down and cover it with your fill passes so here we go i'm going to tie in real quick going to go down and do a do like a u at the bottom of my crater and then fill up here we go all right y'all here we go i just finished up grinding down the high spots on my hot pass ready to start my first fill i'm going to be using a 332 7018 running it on 90 amps going to be using the weave pattern so I'm going to go from each side of the bevel pausing on both sides for two seconds going fast in the middle to avoid excessive buildup so here we go one two one two one two make sure you keep that pattern nice and tight watch that puddle build up one two one two one two one two Make sure you go over that middle pretty quick so you don't get excessive buildup. There we go. Keep it nice and tight. Alright y'all, so what we got here, um, I just finished out my first fill pass. Now I'm going to do another fill pass, but I'm probably going to end up flushing it out. So do whatever it takes for you to be able to do it flush. Now that might be one, that might be two or three fill passes, just whatever is specific to the plate that you're welding on. Uh, I'm going to do the same pattern, I'm going to weave it out, I'm going to make sure to pause on both sides, really let it fill up. Uh, I'm going to do 7018 again, 90 amps again. Um, just same pattern as last time, and we're going to flush it out. Really pause on those sides. All right, y'all, I just finished up my second fill pass. I got it all flushed out. What I'm gonna do now is a, a 7018 332 cap with uh, 90 amps, just like I did on my hot pass. So what I'm gonna do now is grind a line between the uh, end of my weld and my bevel. I'm gonna circle to the left, favoring the outside wall so I don't get undercut on the outside of my weld. I'm gonna fill it up. One, two. Here we go, one, two. Favoring the outside, really small, tight circles. Make sure you keep that rod angle 10, 15 degrees. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two.
All right, y'all, I just finished my first uh, cat pass. Uh, I just want to make sure you guys remember to put that grind mark right next to your beads so you have uh, something to guide you as you're going up. Now, just want to reiterate, I'm going to the left. With my bead, I'm going to the left, favoring the, uh, favoring the left side so there's no undercut. Um, now on my next pass, my third and final cat pass, I'm going to be going to the right side, uh, favoring the outside wall of the bevel. Um, but we're going to get into it. Circling to the left, and pausing on that on the outside of that bead. Keep your circle small, consistent. All right, y'all. So for my last cap, I'm going to be going outside to the right, favoring the right side of the bevel. Um, Going to make sure that I have overlap from my second bead all the way to about 16th outside of the outside of the bevel um, on that face. So we're going to get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here today are 3G stick plate all finished up. Now we got my root pass right here, our hot pass, fill, fill. Keep in mind when you're doing your fill passes, only do as many as it takes for you to flush it out. You don't need to get set on a specific number like two or three or do however many it takes to flush it out. Here's my cap, cap, and cap. Now uh, we finished these out. We did a 6010 root, 6010 hot, 7018 fills and caps. So there you have it. All right, so there you have it. An amazing video on a 3G open root stick on plate. All right, I really appreciate this, right? It looks fantastic. Great job, right? All right, you guys. So if you like this video, uh, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Uh, if you're interested in welding at all, um, special shout out to WeldTube, South Coast Welding Academy, and all the instructors here for, uh, you know, the hospitality, the, the time and commitment that they really put into this school. Uh, their students really enjoy it here. They have great facilities. All right, you guys, if you want to help us defeat childhood cancer, please click the donate box. Stand by for next time. Hoorah!